Hello Philippines, good day to all. This is my Padua and we are back to our latest update for this Friday through Monday, January 13 to 16, 2023. And uh, before we begin with our update, we have already the latest uh, La Nina uh, update, which was issued yesterday. And we are going to show it to you before the end of this video. So uh, first, we have to give you the very latest on the low pressure system 97W, which is now uh, traversing uh, Surgao del Norte. So here's the uh, latest graph set that we issued for today, Friday, until tomorrow, Saturday. The northeast monsoon is already on a break, and it, it is expected to be back by Monday through Wednesday until the weekend so it's gonna be another round of the northeast monsoon and right now low pressure area 97w is still struggling to organize but its broad circulation is now affecting Bicol region which we uh, forecasted uh, a few days ago that Bicol region will have rains beginning today friday and it's now happening and it's extending across uh, calabarzon uh, Mindoro, Marinduque, and Romblon. And uh, the rainfall will be more intense across the Visayas, particularly summer, later, and the uh, Car northern Carga region, which includes Surigao del Norte, Siargao, and Dinagat Island. So please take all necessary precautions for possible uh, heavy to intense rainfall that could generate some flooding in low-lying areas or hazard prone areas as well as uh, landslides in mountain slope areas of the Visayas and northeastern Mindanao. So right now, LPA97W is still at a low uh, chance of becoming a tropical cyclone, less than 35%, but its rain bands are really bringing some wet weather across uh, Mindanao, Visayas, Sulu Archipelago, and southern Luzon. By tomorrow, there will be some showers that could penetrate across Metro Manila and central Luzon as LPA97W continues to weaken as it traverses Mindanao. Actually, some of the uh, circulation will reform to the east of Mindanao once again, but it's still expected to move across Mindanao through the weekend. So, as of 2 p.m., it's in the vicinity of Surigao uh, del Norte at latitude 9 degrees and longitude 126. Again, the risk of flooding and landslides across these affected uh, regions will be around medium to high. So, please take all necessary precautions. Now, let's take a look at the uh, fast animation. So, there you go. The thick cloudiness of LPA97W all across the Visayas, northeastern Mindanao, northern Mindanao, into the Bicol region. And here's the zoom-in satellite animation from winter.com. As you can see, these are wide area of uh, uh, cloudiness generated by this LPA, having some cumulonimbus clouds with uh, heavy intense rainfall. Here's the infrared where you can clearly see where the intense rainfall is currently happening. So right now it's over uh, at uh, Surigao provinces and extending towards the uh, northern Mindanao area, again the Oro, and also over the northern portions of Sambonga Peninsula. And uh, intense rainfall will also be expected across uh, some more provinces, particularly Leyte, okay, and portions of Cebu and Bohol. While um, moderate to at times heavy rainfall will also be expected over southern Bicol, while the rest of the Bicol region will remain light to moderate rainfall with at times heavy downpour. Okay, so that's the uh, latest on the uh, uh, satellite animation. Now let's take a look at the forecast of the winds and pressure for the next uh, seven days. So we are going to uh, bring you the one week forecast. So by uh, tomorrow morning, Saturday, we expect the winds will remain light from the east, turning to northeast over the Visayas. Light. Let's begin on Saturday afternoon. So tomorrow afternoon, we expect 
light winds from the east to prevail over the Bicol region and eastern Visayas, becoming northerly or northeasterly across uh, uh, Sulu Archipelago, while uh, light come to light conditions will be expected across Mindanao and Visayas. And on Sunday afternoon, northeasterly winds will be expected across the Bicol region and the northern portions of uh, Sulu Archipelago turning to northerly to northwesterly over Palawan and uh, Sulu Archipelago while calm conditions with very light winds will be expected across the whole of the Visayas and uh, Mindanao and on Monday here comes the uh, northeast monsoon affecting extreme northern zones so this is another surge a new surge uh, brought about by a uh, approaching by an approaching high pressure area over China, so uh, increasing winds of up to 60 kph will be expected over extreme northern Luzon, as another surge of the monsoon will be expected. While northeasterly winds will become will begin to pick up over the coastal waters of the Bicol region, eastern Luzon, as well as northern Visayas. And the LPA is uh, somewhat gone, but there's another one forming here over Palawan, another LPA. That's why on Tuesday, this January 17, that LPA will accelerate towards the west-southwest, to the west of southern Palawan, towards the Spratlys and the Kalayan, towards the Spratly Islands. And here comes the northeast monsoon digging down across the coastal waters of the Bicol region. While over at Mindanao and Visayas, calm to light uh, winds will be expected. And on Wednesday afternoon, the northeast monsoon will continue to prevail across Luzon, particularly the northern and eastern coastal waters, uh, including the Bicol region. While uh, light northeasterly winds over the Visayas and calm conditions with variable winds over Mindanao. By Thursday, we expect the northeast monsoon will still to still uh, prevail across the eastern sections of central Luzon, including Bicol region and the northern portions of Sulu Archipelago. And on Friday, uh, January 20, still the northeast monsoon prevailing across the uh, areas of Luzon, including the Bicol region and northern uh, most part of Sulu Archipelago and northern Palawan while light northeasterly winds will be expected across the Visayas and the uh, coastal waters of northern Mindanao including Sambuanga Peninsula so there you go that's the uh, one week forecast when it comes to the wind now to the rain this is the forecast from the European model this is the latest one issued at 8 a.m. So this is now the current uh, situation now of the Bicol region becoming more widespread over Visayas and uh, Mindanao. By uh, tomorrow morning, Saturday, we expect uh, a little bit of sunshine across the Bicol region and uh, still increasing cloudiness will be expected, but the rainfall will just be uh, drizzled to light, particularly over the eastern sections of the Bicol region. Also across... Uh, Eastern Visayas and uh, northern portions of Sulu Archipelago that includes Pamalikan and Amanpulu. While over at Mindanao, it will be sunny, hot and sunny by tomorrow morning. Now, tomorrow afternoon, we expect another round of thunderstorms across the Bicol region, Visayas, Mimaropa, and Mindanao because of the remnants of LPA 97W, which is currently over the Bohol Sea and Sunday afternoon we expect some showers to occur across the Bicol region Calabar Zone uh, Northern uh, Palawan Kalamian Group and uh, over at Mindanao while uh, uh, light uh, rain will also be expected in some portions of the Visayas but not much Monday afternoon here comes the uh, uh, new shoreline that could affect the Bicol region as early as Monday, January 16. And uh, some showers and thunderstorms will prevail over Mindanao and northern Palawan. Tuesday afternoon, the effects of the shoreline will continue to bring rainfall across the Bicol region by Tuesday afternoon. 
and extending down across Visayas and portions of Palawan and localized thunderstorms will be expected across Mindanao. Wednesday afternoon, another round of thunderstorms will be expected across the Bicol region and uh, uh, Visayas or Eastern Visayas because of the uh, shear line and the combined uh, because of the combined effects of the shear line in the northeast monsoon and also affecting uh, northern Palawan and Calamian Group and localized thunderstorms will be expected across Mindanao Thursday afternoon uh, again uh, there will be some uh, light rain showers over the eastern sections of Luzon including Bicol region, eastern Visayas becoming more intense over Mindoro Palawan and Sulu Archipelago. These are localized thunderstorms generated by the convergence of the northeast monsoon and the easterlies. And on Friday afternoon, January 20, Bicol region will again experience some um, cloudy conditions with increasing winds from the northeast monsoon and uh, likely there will be some showers and thunderstorms across portions of Camarines Sur becoming more frequent over Camarines Norte and uh, the Visayas particularly Eastern Visayas will also have some light rainfall or diesels because of the Northeast Monsoon and uh, so far that's the latest for the next seven days beginning today until next Friday January 20 so uh, still there will be more rains in store across Bicol, Visayas, and Mindanao, including Mimaropa, because of the another surge of the Northeast Monsoon, together with the shear line, by the middle of next week. And uh, here's now the latest La Nina update issued at uh, issued yesterday, January 12, and based on the latest from the uh, Climate Prediction Center of NOAA, in partnership with Columbia Climate School of International Research Institute for Climate and Society. It shows that the La Nina still persists but it is expected to transition into neutral phase or normal conditions between February to April 2023. So this is now the uh, potential shift from La Nina to neutral conditions but the effects will push through until uh, March or April so still there will be some rainfall because of the effects of the uh, La Nina although it's starting to uh, return to neutral conditions and by uh, March to May 2023 the chance of neutral conditions will be up to 82% so we expect that normal climate will prevail during the uh, uh, wet or rainy season of the Philippine Islands beginning by June okay and here's the uh, graph that shows you the latest for this January uh, um, La Nina update so as you can see here right now we are here January so take note of the middle of this December January February climate forecast so right now we are still at 95% La Nina. That's why we are experiencing this uh, on and off rainfall for almost a month now. And uh, we are still at moderate levels of or medium levels of La Nina. But uh, by February it will start to uh, decrease okay, down to 60%. And we are going to transition by February, March, April. Actually, this is around March to neutral condition going up to 72 or 73%. Then by March, April, May, it will increase to 82% before decreasing again uh, by April, May, June until uh, August. Okay. And then it remains uh, highly uncertain if we will going to move into El Nino. But the latest right now, it's uh, uh, already the forecast of an El Nino has gone down to a milder version. 
So uh, it's still questionable because of the forecast. So we will know during uh, September because the uh, usually El Nino La Nina starts to strengthen and uh, their peak months will be around October to February. So during the latter part of the climate forecast by around August, September, October, we could see now the uh, El Nino moving up to 51%, but it's still uh, not sure, okay? Maybe we will remain neutral, but we will wait and see until we reach September of 2023. Next month, we will be issuing another update of the uh, La Nina advisory of the La Nina phenomenon, so watch out for that during the middle of February 2023. So there you go, that's the latest for this uh, rainy Friday here in Bicol. And we will return again next week to give you more updates on the weather. From Typhoon 2000, this is Mike Potter reporting. Stay safe always, be a hashtag weatherwiser. Happy weekend to all. And uh, thank you so much for watching our channel.